Good day, everyone. Welcome back to the show. I'm Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we want to take a look at NBA legends commenting on how good, in their opinion, Dennis Rodman was. Of course, mainly we're going to have guys that actually played against Dennis Rodman in the Golden Age in the 1980s and 1990s. But before we start with this video, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on the notifications button so you always get notified once I upload a new video. And I would say, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with Reggie Killer Miller. Of course, Reggie played against Dennis Rodman in the late 1980s and, of course, in the Golden Age in the 1990s with the Indiana Pacers, mainly against the Detroit Pistons or the Chicago Bulls. Rodman's best game ever came against you guys. What were his numbers? March of 92. Rodman had 34 rebounds. While a member of the Bulls or a member of the Pistons? It was March of 92. I'm going to guess. Um, or was he with uh, he, the Spurs? He, he was with the Spurs, and he, yeah, he had 34 rebounds when he was with Spurs. Oh, my God. Come on, uh, Dale and Antonio Davis. <laughs> Keep him off the glass. Yeah. Come on, Rick Smith. But he didn't guard you, did he? No. Well, yes. On switches. Oh, okay. But he didn't. He would never. You were the best. No, he would never. No, he's not that dumb. <laughs> he's dumb. He was good, but he wasn't that dumb. He's not going to start off. Now, he might switch on a switch or coming off a screen, he might show out. But he's not. No, no. not off tip ball. No, he's not that dumb. And he knows better. He had six. He knows better. He. How many did Reggie have in that game? Oh, boy. Yeah, and did we win or lose? If he got 34 rebounds, they better have won. Rodman had 34 rebounds and 10 points. Reggie, oh, no. Oh, no. That bad? (laughs) Did Reg get double figures? Reg was 3 for 6 from the field, 0 for 1 from 3, and only 6 points in 36 minutes. What the heck? In 92? In 1992? Rodman shut you down. Oh, no. He did. Maybe he did guard me that night. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, maybe I was ejected. Well, how many minutes did I play? You played, That'll tell 30, me a lot. You played 36 minutes. Yeah, then he carded me. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as we just heard, Dennis Rodman also played a short period for the San Antonio Spurs alongside David Robinson. And as you can imagine, both being totally different personalities, that wasn't the easiest combination. So let's hear what David Robinson has to say. 93-94, and he's now your teammate. Yeah. And this yeah. is a unique cat. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. is. It's, that's an understatement right there, yeah. How did uh, yeah. oil and water mix? Yeah. I, you know what? And I love Dennis. I really do. He's an unbelievable player. Incredibly athletic. He, I mean, he was like Superman. Like, he just, you know, just a freak of nature. A guy could run all day long, never got tired, and was like the energizer bunny. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I loved having him next to me on the court because you always felt like, you, you know, you just got a warrior with you. So on the court, he's a great guy to have next to you. Uh, in the locker room, um, it's a little different story. But, you know, he marches to the beat of his own drum. The next clip is actually from the time where Dennis Rodman played for the Chicago Bulls. And it's his former teammate, Isaiah Thomas, commenting on what a good rebounder Dennis Rodman actually was. Let's take a look at Dennis. Everything he does is with two hands. He gets it. One hand, two hands. That's what all young kids should watch. Watch how he positions himself, tips it, grabs it with two hands. Every time you see him rebound, it's with two hands, turns, outlets. Fundamentally sound, into the game. 36 years old, leading the league in rebounding. The only two people to ever do that is Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain. The next clip is from my favorite NBA show, NBA Open Court. You have guys like Steve Smith, Steve Kerr, Chris Webber, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley. So all guys that played along, not alongside, but against Dennis Rodman in the same day, commenting on what a great player Dennis Rodman was. So let's check it out. You would read in the newspaper that he was out every night, all night. And to have the stamina that he had 
it, it's pretty remarkable. He killed that you need a good night's sleep theory. <laughs> you <laughs> have know? a little experience with that in there somewhere, yeah. don't you? That, that. But I did try to get a good night's sleep every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and Dennis went through these different phases as a player. I remember back in the Detroit days, uh, pre-tats and all that stuff. Uh, and you knew him a little bit then? I or? did. You know, in college, I used to always go up to the Pistons and work out with them and watch him. You know, it was, this was before he turned into Dennis Rodman with the tats. But the thing that amazed me as a young player was watching a guy go through his practices or sometimes after the game. And I'd go in the locker room with John, Sally, and Joe and Isaiah talk. And he'd be on a treadmill or he'd be on a Stairmaster. And they say he would do an hour after a game. You know, so for me, to see a guy that just played a game and his, his, his ability to go get on the Stairmaster for another hour, and then also playing against him. I never had a guy that I didn't think I could go around at 6'8", standing straight up, and laterally he could still slide his feet and draw a charge. To me, that was unbelievable. You know, was he wasn't the most skilled guy, but when you talk about the greatest athletes to ever play in the NBA, I think Dennis Rodman is in that category. When you think about the stamina, what you talked about, Charles, just the way he lived his life, and to be able to, to play with that kind of energy night after night, the way he could run, especially early when he was with the Pistons mm -hmm. and he would chase people down and guard every position. That guy could have been a world-class triple jumper or 400-meter sprinter. I mean, he was Tight saying, oh, incredible. <laughs> and, and Shaq, this is a guy, too, who, I mean, you played with him a little bit in L.A., but playing against him, wasn't he, he's one of those irritating, get-under-your-skin kind of guys, right? Is he, a, would it be fair to say, yeah, love, love having him on my team for what he does, but when you're playing against him, I'd yeah, rather not? Was, he was a great defender. He always moved his feet. Uh, the great thing about Dennis Rodman is he always did it his way. When I played with him, like, you know, he's supposed to be there an hour and a half before the game. He would have come in with 45 on the, on the clock, eating chicken and rice. <laughs> and nobody would say anything because we knew that he was going to give us 20 to 25 rebounds at the game. And so, you know, he did it his way. He rode the treadmill after the game. And, you know, Steve was right. He was a phenomenal athlete. Phenomenal. They, you, know, they, you know, Ernie, I, I saw that irritating problem. Because Michael used to joke to me all the time. What I would do is, I'd just punch him as hard as I could at the beginning of the game. <laughs> and he would leave you alone. Yeah, you sure would. He would. Yeah. You just had, because Michael used to, Charles, why do you keep doing that? I said, dude, he stopped, because he stops ir irritating you and bugging you once you clock him. I would just punch him as hard as I could, like in the first <laughs> five minutes of the game. <laughs> I, he gave me my first job, Country Day. He used to go play video games. When I was in high school, he'd be up there playing video games with kids in the, in the, uh, arcade, you remember this? And I, so he gave me my first job. I go up. He's like, "You want to come up and camp?" I'm like, "Yeah, thank you, Mr. Robin." You know, I go up there. He pays me. He's working with all the kids, and then he plays with us for three hours after. Just plays with us. He wasn't shooting all that, running and doing all that, but he played with us, and he didn't have to. It was other Pistons, other people there, and you know, seeing his work ethic, it really, it really impressed me. And it hurts you every time. A versatile athlete and a savvy competitor. Dennis Rodman dedicated himself to frustrating and disrupting the opposition. Dennis took the responsibility of guarding the other team's top scorer all the time, regardless of who he was. This is Jordan at one and one now. Rodman won't give an inch. He is truly the only person I've ever known that could guard all five positions. And I don't mean just guard him a little bit, clamp down and shut down. In addition to his seven all-defensive first-team selections, Rodman also won seven straight rebounding titles, averaging a staggering 16.7 boards over that span. Quite a feat for a player not much bigger than a shooting guard. Most people think he's 6'9", 260, and Dennis was a, maybe a half an inch taller than me at 6'6", 220, and he impacted the game a lot bigger. There's Dennis again. He doesn't even have to score a basket to turn a game around with his rebounding ability. You got to throw him in the category of some of the greats, like Bill Russell. Rebound Rodman. He's unbelievable at that. Best in the league. Like a Will Chamberlain. Rodman's tap is rebound number 34. Because he used to dominate the game just on rebounds alone. Oh, the dandy rebound from Dennis Rodman. His defense first mentality helped forge the identity of the bruising Detroit Pistons teams that won back-to-back -back NBA titles in 1989 and 1990. Whenever we went on the floor and we were in deep championship playoff series, this guy would be in his own world about winning, just about, you just saw it dripping off of him. 
you just saw on his face the passion he had for the game. I wanted this one so bad. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you next time. Peace. I'm out. Hey, you guys, if you're active on Facebook, I can really recommend Open Court. As an NBA fan, you should find everything you need. If it's funny NBA videos, impressive highlights, or even NBA news, I check out Open Court every day.